Hi guys, it's me again, Godzilla Master 23, and as um and today we're doing uh another unboxing. Um and today it is on this. Now um this is a fingerling. Um it's like part of the Untamed series. Um so I'm not saying like it's made these are like they're made for this, but like, the normal fingerlings, like, the animal ones, are mostly made for, like, girls. Like, in the adverts, like, it's always girls. Like, it's, you know, they're made, like, mostly for girls. I'm not saying that, like, boys can't get them or anything. Like, you know, anyone can get them. But, yeah, they're mostly, like, targeted for girls. And then the Untamed series, like, the dinosaur ones and that, they're mostly... Like for boys, like the advert show boys and that. So, um, anyways, as you can see, he's really cool and he is part of the um radioactive series. As you can see, it says radioactive. So let's just look at the box. Well, as you already saw, it says untamed and radioactive there. Don't know what this is. It's like an app or something that you can get. Um, but. And then there's some, like, art down here that looks really nice. And it has, um, like, the picture of him. And as you can see, he does look kind of look like a hybrid because he's got, like, the club, like, the tail of uh, Ankylosaurus. Um, and as you can see, there's, like, blue um, stuff coming out of, like, the radioactive canister. Not really sure what it's called. Um, and as you can see, it says that... Uh, my body glows so like it's like radioactive inside of him as you can see it says x-ray and t-rex or tyrannosaur um ages five and up as you can see on the side it has more of them so there's x-ray and he's right here but you also get like three more you get um whiplash and as you can see it's a triceratops type creature looks more like a styracosaurus though because like it doesn't really have the two big horns like it's only got the one big horn there if you can see um and then you get gamma he's like a velociraptor type dinosaur and then you get rampage and as you can see he is like kind of like a stegosaurus because he's got like the spikes and that um, so yeah, as you can see, it does say uh, he has 40, um, like, f 40 different sounds. I don't know if I'll be able to show all of them sounds, because, you know, that's quite a lot of sounds. Um, so yeah, as you can see on the back, like, it shows, like, what he does, and, like, he has, like, he has, like, sensors in his head. Um, and all that stuff, you know. Um, he's made by Jazzwares and Wowie. Um, so yeah, pre that's pretty much it for the box. As you can see, yeah, it has like a bite mark at the side. That looks pretty cool. But um, anyways, let's unbox this. And I am going to try and like unbox them carefully because I don't want to keep this box, to be honest. So um, I don't know how carefully i'll be able to be able to do but let's just try all right um just trying to like keep the background <laughs> all right yeah done pretty good um so oh I don't know why, but I like the smell of the box. And as you can see, he does have like little plastic bags. So I do have to cut them, so I will be back. So as you can see, I got him out. And that was actually pretty hard to do. Um, there was a lot like of things that you had to cut. So um, yeah, it's pretty hard to get out of the box. But I managed to. Um, as you can see, he is really cool though. Um, so, let's just get into details first and then, like, you know, I'll get into, like, the noises in that later. I don't know if he, like, works straight away. Oh, no, you have to turn him on, as you can see right there. Um, 
So let's get into details. For details, it is pretty good. Um, so as you can see, his top teeth are black. And um, that looks pretty cool. The thing that annoy, like the thing that's quite annoying, is that the bottom of his teeth, like his bottom teeth, aren't painted. But on the box, like as you can see on the back of the box, it shows that they are painted. If you can see that, um, but I don't really mind. Um, but as you can see, like the front of his body. Like, the front of his, um, like, snout and, like, his arms and his legs and his tail. Well, m all of his tail, pretty much. Like, it is this orange colour, and I do like that a lot. Well, it's more, it's like a peachy orange um, that I think is pretty cool. And it is nicely painted, and there is, like, some detail in that. If you can see it, um, the eyes are painted pretty nice. Well, they're painted really good, actually. Um, as you can see, you've got his spikes up here. These spikes are rubber, like these ones, the big ones. And um, these two right there, they're um plastic and they're painted um like a brighter red than his body. So it's good that they done that, cause you wouldn't really be able to see it if they didn't do that. Um, pretty much all of the rest of the spikes, so or again the same rubber these ones are like pink and these but these ones are like translucent red that's a bit weird and then like you get these little ones right here like little tiny ones that are pretty blunt and then you get the same pink ones like rubber ones on the back and then as you can see all down the middle like the middle ones they are plastic again and painted the same red as that um and then the tail has spikes that aren't painted. Um, and then, like, on the club, as you can see, it has, like, red spikes. And they are all plastic. Um, I do like how he has, like, the ankylosaurus tail, though. That is pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, as you can see... Um, oh, like, I can't really show you because, you know, like, the arms and legs are in the way. But... He does actually have a rib cage, like if you can see that, like there's he has like um like you can see a red rib cage, and I think that's where the radioactive thing like comes in, but I don't know how to like activate the radioactive or that. As I said, I don't know that much about this. Like I don't know how to um turn on the radioactive um and that um. But yeah, he does have a lot of detail in that, and he is really cool. As you can see, he has ears there. As you can see, um, but yeah, not. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the details, cause you know, the video will just be too long. But as you can see, like he has like the scales on his toes that like all dinosaur toys have, like with T Rexes and that. Like they have all the little scales on the top of their feet. The um, toenails and like the claws are painted as well that's pretty good and he has like these weird spike things that are coming out kind of reminds me of the Donimus because like she has like she also she has like fur on her arms it's kind of like that um but yeah the bottom of his jaw is really Nicely detailed as you can see. Well, if you can see, it's not really like focusing or that, but a lot of good details there. Um, but I'm not going to spend too much time on details. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for details. As you can see, he does have some bullet holes, but they don't really mind me because they don't really, yeah, they don't really mind me because, um, you know, they're just little. As you can see, there is like black there. Um, I don't really mind though, as you can see, it is just a mistake from like the tea for that. Um, so I just realized like for articulation, well, for articulation, you don't get that much, but it can move the neck because obviously, like, that's part of its feature. The jaw can open and close, but I'm not going to force it because it could break it. And I just realized that the tail can move. And that's pretty cool. You know, I never expected that, so 
can put it up like that or like you know to its sides so it's like that actually looks pretty good if you can see like it's like lying on the floor um but yeah anyways let's get into its feature i don't really know like what happened oh okay as you can see it is lighting up um and like so was its horns there as you can see um so like what you're meant to do is like put them on your finger as you can see it's making noises um there is 40 of them but i don't know if i'll be able to show all the noises but um yeah apparently it has sensors like on his head and he'll react to them yeah i'm not really sure guys i'm i'm sorry if this review is quite bad i'm not really sure like how to really do this and i don't know about the radioactive i think the radioactive just means that his stomach lights up yeah i think that's what it means yeah that i think that's what it means like his stomach lights up because you know with normal ones it doesn't light up i think that's it yeah it is it because there's like nothing else to do so yeah what you're meant to do is just like put them on your finger because they're called fingerlings of course um but yeah as you can see he's like making noises and he's turning his head in that he also blinks that's pretty cool i don't know if you really saw it but i would try and yeah you see that you can't really see it that well i'll take him off my finger Look, did you see? yeah, so he blinks, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, so he does have a lot of noises, and they are pretty cool noises, you know, like roars and that. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I think that's it for today's review. Not really that much else to say. Um, he is really cool. Oh, yeah, also, um, so I got this from the Tooth Fairy. Okay, so I got this um, because my tooth fell out. Um, so you know my mum got me it, and that's you know really kind, and I love it so much. I don't know why, but like I've always got like a present, like you know when my tooth fell out. Like every time my tooths fell out, I've always got like a toy. You know, I do like that though, because as you know, I love toys, um, and it is really nice. Um, so I'm really happy I got this guy. Um, so yeah, that's how I got him. Well, this guy is really cool. If I had to rate him, I'm not really sure. I think I'll be, I don't know, a eight or seven out of ten. He is really cool. I like him a lot, and I might get like more of them. Like, maybe not so much the radioactive ones, but, like, just more of, like, the untamed fingerlings. Like, you get, like, a black T-Rex that looks really cool with, like, red stripes on him. And, like, he comes in a cage. Um, you know, that's really cool. I don't know why, but it reminds me of the Endoraptor. Just looks like him a little bit. But, yeah, the cage is, yeah, it's really cool. I don't know if I'll get that. I don't even know if I'll get anymore probably will in the future but yeah you know the untamed the untamed fingerlings are really cool and i do like them a lot you know especially the dinosaur ones because as you know i love dinosaurs um but yeah i think that's pretty much it for today's video if you like the video make sure to smash the like button subscribe and comment down below what you want me to do next um peace out